The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Well, folks, welcome into the Sportsman's Table this week. We're back here at the International Culinary Institute in beautiful Myrtle Beach on the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech. And joining me is executive chef, the culinary beast himself. <laughs> you always know our Sportsman's Table chef, Tom Mullally. Tom, hey, Bob. Man, How are you, my friend? I'm good. Okay. okay. Always a pleasure. Grand strand, strand catering. Now, what are you going to whip up for me today? We got some local uh, shrimp coming out of Merle's Inlet, Seven Seas. And oh, now, okay. We're going to have a little Italian flair to it from your Irish chef. Okay. This is uh, shrimp frances. It's in a light egg batter mm -hmm. with a uh, fresh squeezed lemon on it. It's really nice. But uh, fresh and local shrimp, they're a lot sweeter. We don't want to uh, get the stuff from overseas. Uh, Fresh that, and local is the way we uh, roll you here you bet. on your show. You know how that goes. So we're going to lightly uh, dust them in flour. And then after that, we're going into egg wash, which is just uh, you have one egg and a splash of half and half cream in there. Mm. We're getting our saute pan nice and hot. So we can yeah. hear that sizzle. We love to hear that sound, Bob. Okay. Now, is this with oil or without oil? This is going to be uh, with oil. With oil. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Pan's heating up. We're going to pop some oil down now. Oh, I got you. All right. I'm going to swirl it around, mm. let it dance a little bit. They don't call you a culinary beast for nothing. No, no, no. You got to earn that. You got to earn that. <laughs> I've got a lot of cool uh, culinary type shirts that <laughs> I like to wear. Ooh, yeah. Hey, that's that sound we love, Bob. That's mm. it. Mm -mm -mm. And now, how long are you going to cook these, Tom? Oh, you shrimp ask me that all the time. Oh, yeah. Shrimp yeah. go pretty quick, as right. you know. Probably just about uh, two to three minutes. Okay. Now, just they're going to turn red as well, even though they're in the wash? Yep, yep. They're going to, uh, a little bit, you know, on the inside, but we're going to have more of a yellowish color because on of the, the egg wash on okay. the outside, yeah. Because, you know, as I've learned over the years, you've taught me don't overcook the fish, the meat. Don't do that. Okay? Nothing worse than that. Yeah, exactly. dried piece of fish, mm -hmm. shrimp, whatever the case may be. That's almost like a tempura batter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. A little bit, a little bit. That's a little yeah. Asian flair. And That's folks, you want a copy of Tom's recipe, just log on to bobredfern.com. Or even better yet, you can go watch the video feed as you're cooking yours. Huh? All right, we got a nice little golden brown there. Our shrimp are about halfway done. Oh, wow. Good stuff, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe a tad more oil. You can put a little dollop of butter in there. It's endless. Now, the catering business that you do down here is just is tremendous. I mean, you, Rock. <laughs> you, you absolutely go door to door yeah. down here because a lot of folks in Myrtle Beach know you, okay? Yeah. You truly are a culinary beast. I try, I okay. try. Yeah, I've had the catering business for 18 years. They keep eating job security. Now, if they want to, while we're cooking here, if they want to get a hold of you to cater while they're down at the beach, All how right. can they do it? My cell phone, 843-446-2256. Ah, awesome. Keep eating, my friends. Keep me job secure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're gonna throw a little squeeze of lemon in there, Bob. Okay. Lemon goes great with our seafood, as right. we know. Almost flambéed it. Mm -hmm. Nice, uh, nice lemon. Mm. Maybe just a touch more salt. I always tell my students, no bland food allowed. Exactly. It never impresses. Mm. And then I love to cook to the seasons. You know, if we're in the summer, I'm gonna cook things a little bit lighter. Okay. You know asparagus, fresh local vegetables, etc. And then if I'm cooking in the winter, I'm going to use more winter vegetables, you know, butternut yeah. squash, cabbages, things of that nature. Okay. Now that's a bed of rice? Yeah, this is a bed of uh, wild rice. Okay. I like to put my starch down first. We're going to put some fresh roasted vegetables in here. A little cauliflower. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All my favorites. I like to cook how I like to eat. <laughs> yeah. If the rest of them don't like it, I don't know how to help them. I know, I know. <laughs> Now, the customer's always right, supposedly. That's true. In their own mind. Because they're paying the bill. That's it. That's it. Now, if we didn't have customers, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, nowadays, you know, we get a lot of special requests. There's vegetarians, vegans, oh, gluten-free, yeah, yeah. etc. Right. And I can accommodate whatever they the need to have. Right so they can see what you're building. Okay. Man, that's awesome. All right. Look at that. So Ooh, the plate wow. is uh, definitely coming alive. And you we'll can put smell that lemon. Look at that. Yeah. And I always tell my uh, students, odd numbers are best for eye appeal. Right. So we've got a uh, five shrimp. I always like to cook in threes and fives as opposed to uh, yeah. twos and fours. There you go. Mm. We're going to do one last uh, fresh squeeze of uh, lemon on there. 
And in the end, Bob, we have a fresh local sauteed shrimp franchise. It's on a bed of uh, wild rice with uh, fresh local roasted vegetables. Eat well, my friend. Thank you, sir. The culinary beast lives on. <laughs> Folks, remember, eat fresh, eat local, and buy it all, South Carolina. Log on to CertifiedSE.com and see what's fresh on the menu. And we'll be right back here again next week on another episode of The Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.